This is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and today we are going to learn how to insert a spry menu bar. Basically, what that means is it'll be a nice menu bar that can scroll across our entire page, and it will basically have all kinds of things like rollovers, and it could have sub menus and all that kind of stuff that you see on every web page out there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Dreamweaver. Let's create a new document. And you, for, you need to save the document in, in order to do anything else. So let's go to File, Save As, and let's just call it Spry underscore Bar. Save. So in order to insert this Spry menu bar, the first big, huge tip that I never see people giving out is if you want to make a Spry bar, insert it into a table. You, the reason you do this is because that way you'll be able to center align the spry bar, right align the spry bar. I'm always on forums and in YouTube and I always see people commenting asking, how do I manipulate my spry menu bar? How do I move it around my page? There's no way to move that one spry bar unless it is in a table. So remember that. So the first thing we are going to do is actually insert a table. So let's make it one row, one column, 520 pixels, everything else zero, and click OK. Now click inside that table, go to Insert, Spry, Spry Menu Bar. We're going to do Horizontal, and click OK. There is your Spry Menu Bar. Now, in order to manipulate that, and let's say center align it, let's click outside of it, and then we'll click inside the table, and we'll make sure that we have table selected out of all this stuff. Make sure you have table selected and go to a line and make it center. Now it's in the center. So let's preview that in a browser. Save changes. Save all of these changes to copy the dependent files. And now, as you can see, you have your first Spry menu bar. So in the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to change all these item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4s to what we want and how to manipulate these sub-menus. So thank you for watching. This is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and I hope this tutorial was useful.